beams for building our front porch. These things are eight by eight, but if you buy an eight by eight at uh, Lowe's, they're gonna be, can't remember if they're seven and a half or seven and a quarter. Um, and I don't think you can get eight by eight at Lowe's. I think you can only get six by six, but I could be wrong. So these are real eight by eights from the sawmill around the corner. We're using our old pieces of garage door to make a, a tent because you got to keep them out of the sun or else they'll start warping. for our trees. We might do some, some of our other trees, like uh, identifying some of the trees on the property. I don't have all the tags done yet. I'm here with Julio. We're putting up some, putting up some molding. We're doing around the windows, but they're also about to start doing the crown molding. Yeah. So we're really excited to get the molding started. Actually, uh, today maybe it's going to be mostly finished. Probably, probably. I'm going to go and say hello to his family. This is a family business doing the doing the molding. He's. Uh, using a coping saw to trim some crown molding so that it fits to the other crown in the corner. You can see we have the windows done in here. We're doing this high molding where we're gonna have uh, the pieces in between. I got some marks on the wall here where we're gonna do the pieces uh, that'll create panels all the way around the room. And then we're going to paint. This is not the color we're going to use. We're going to use a gray color, but uh, you'll see the, the real color later. But this bottom part will be painted white, and then we'll have their, our color up here at the top. So things are really looking like they're getting those final touches. We'll have to also put in a link to Julio's uh, band, to his channel on YouTube where, his, uh, where he has his music. I went on YouTube and grabbed a little bit of one of his music videos so you can see his uh, work, uh, but the sound wouldn't come through. Claire and I are next to our burn pile trying to stack up our wood a little higher and not keep it spreading out. We found this awesome stick. We think that this is... Uh, Cobalt crust or blue velvet. It's just as blue as you're seeing in the camera right now. Really pretty, mm -hmm. unique. I don't see that very often. The idea is you want to try to get as much of a seal as you can right. to get the most air pressure. So the, the problem with this guy, 
for some reason, yeah, if you push it too far, it just seems like it's, it's going to open yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, well, we want to want to. Because the like, end of the barrel is actually smaller, which maybe is more a like this. Odd. Okay. Keep it more short. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, coming back around. Trying to shoot that ball. Oh! Isabel, no way! You almost hit it again! That was awesome, Isabel. Go, Sophia. Oh, it was close! Wow, that was good. Nice shot. I think that was a pretty good amount. Are you having a great birthday? Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, it really is. Are you hot and sweaty? Yes. Henry, you're getting bigger. You're up to the I couldn't have got it better for you. That was perfect. That was that really was perfect. Oh, you're talking to me? I can never. Sometimes this camera's facing me, and sometimes it's turned away. Now you can totally it's nice understand. To have Our chickens have some new friends, but they have to get used to some nice big roosters. Monica and Rico brought us some roosters and they are in this pen within a pen getting used to the other chickens before we let them out. Looks like they're being pretty peaceful. We're not sure exactly what will happen when we first let them out and they can be face to face. But I think there's going to be a pecking order and hopefully nobody will get killed. <laughs> We're in the utility room. We're gonna walk around and look at trim. Good morning. Oh, okay. There's Clay drinking out of his super size. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Turn and wave to all the aunts and uncles. Hello. Turn and wave. There's Abby. There's my electrician and electrician's apprentice. <laughs> That's my youngest daughter. Yeah. Remember, the people of North don't know her. Well, that's true. Are they, do they watch? Oh, I nice. Think Linda is at least. Oh, cool. Hello, Linda. Hello. <laughs> I'll make sure she is now. <laughs> okay, so, well, down here we have some trim. You can see the crown molding around the ceiling. We really love this cove molding. And lots of blue tape on the walls. Do the frames around the windows. We're not doing board and batten down here. It'll just be sheetrock down here. I thought we thought it would be a little busy because it's not as big of a space. We've got our flooring staged in the rooms for the downstairs because that's later this week. We're supposed to get flooring. Jacob. Here's some electrical instruction. I'm teaching me how to electrify myself. Getting some outlets installed. Uh, getting some power. Ready. We need the power ready early because we have to climatize our house for the flooring upstairs. So we're doing, uh, we're applying for temporary power until the house is done. And Jacob is teaching Caleb how to wire outlets so he can help the process along. This is painful. Ah, you can do it. Steps. Maybe we'll look at a door. Oh, that's right. So the stair guys got here and put in our stairs. You can see the nice return we got sticking out to the side that we didn't have on the old stairs. And the treads are oak, so we're gonna be able to stain them. They're gonna look nice. Right now it's just cover. The old stairs were just built out of two, two by eights or something and very squeaky and just generally bad. So here is where we're really excited. Go show close to the front. Got a little bit of paint, but this uh, board and batten molding on the inside uh, sort of duplicates what's going on on the outside. And I don't know, we just, we love it. Was, we had to kind of teach the trim guy how to do some of it. <laughs> I was gonna try to match the island with this paint color and I chickened out and now I'm glad I did. I, I like this gray, it's nicer, it's brighter. Leaves everything a lot more open. Look at all the paint on the side. And Caleb suggested, it's paint. You can change it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good Which advice. Is good advice. If you don't like it, just change it. But I like it. We even did the bathrooms. 
our bedroom. It's purple. Of course, I chose this color. <laughs> Doesn't it, look, it looks really good. I'm really pleased with this color. This is a color that Cindy has wanted to do for a really long time, for many years, and I've always said, no, I can't stand mauve. If I don't want anything mauve. even similar. Violet. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, let's do it because I want you to have what you like. <laughs> and it looks really nice. Oh, here's our doors. That's my man. The painters have them off right now so they don't paint the hinges. It makes it easier. But we're, we ordered um, glass doorknobs with black. Yeah, and Whatever it's called. Cindy gave me the choice of which glass to do, and I chose ones that looked like my grandmother's house when I was little. I had some more modern looking ones. He, su he surprised me, but I was happy. I like, I like, Very like this. So the downstairs would be like this closet. Which might be too dark for you to really see very well. <laughs> awesome. See you later. Bye. Time to go fix lunch. So just now we open the door for the roosters to start <laughs> meeting the chickens. <laughs> Nobody's dead yet, so that's really good. <laughs> looks like they're doing looks like they're doing okay. They're not freaking out and terribly scared of each other or anything. <laughs> We've had a few ruffled feathers. <laughs> We're going to put a roost in here and see if they'll come and sleep in here because uh, the, the chicken... Oh, I just stepped on some fire ants. Um, but we're starting to prune the blueberry bushes. I'm gonna get to work on this today, do a whole bunch of work on that. I put up this perch inside here, inside the chicken tractor, and my favorite chicken comes walking in and jumps right up on it. I think she loves it. Do you love it? He loves it. <laughs> so we just did those cabinets. I thought I'd show them to you again. We push these cabinets out over the washer and dryer so they're easier to reach because we know how the washer and dryer sticks out and you can't quite reach those cabinets. So these will be closer and easier to reach once we have the washer and dryer in here. And then we have a nice little area over here in the pantry that has a butcher block countertop. You can, you can see a little bit of the finish here, but we got it covered up to protect it from painters and stuff. So we're proud of ourselves for doing some Lowe's cabinets. This cabinet didn't come with the shelf clips, so I've asked Lowe's to send me some, well, actually Diamond, to send me some more. For inexpensive cabinets, these are actually pretty good. I like them. <laughs>